Hey guys, Drake Lamb here with Midwest Whitetail. Today, while we're out on the farm, I wanted to take a minute and talk about timber stand improvement. Um, there's a couple different ways that we go about doing that, and this can all be done with a chainsaw and some sweat equity. So before you even think about getting into the woods with a chainsaw, there's definitely some safety precautions that need to be taken. Um, anytime that we go into the woods, it's always two guys. For one um, running a chainsaw all day long is not a not a safe thing um, you know so it's 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 imperative to have one other guy with you at all times if we want to get into the safety where um, before we even get into the woods chainsaw chaps are a must-have eye protection ear protection and a helmet um, there's a lot of times where you're cutting cutting trees and dead limbs are falling everything and you've got your headset on you can't hear so having that helmet is is very crucial so with all that being said, today we're going to walk you through two different types of TSI that we have done on this farm. One being crop tree release and the other being a clear cut type of uh, timber stand improvement. So this area over my shoulder is what we're going to call a clear cut. Um, we came in last summer and this was full of just nothing but straight hickories. There's a few walnuts, a few oaks in here, but basically mainly hickories. And the reason for that was because years ago this place had been logged and it had been top ended and they took out all the black walnuts, all the red oaks, all the white oaks, so there's no regeneration going on in here. You could see through two, 300 yards right through this. There was, no, there was nothing growing, and by coming in here, knocking down all these undesirable um, hickories, we've created not only structure for the deer, but quail, turkeys, pheasants, everything in here. Not only being on like a southeast facing ridge, um, this is gonna be a great area for these deer to come in here and bed off that northwest wind, come in here, lay in the sun all winter long. So starting with our desirable trees, we, we cut very hard around them, opening up everything around it, allowing that tree to get the maximum sunlight that it can, not being shaded out by other trees, not being, uh, other trees not taking up moisture, not taking up space for our good trees to regenerate. So now as you look through here, all these walnuts are freed up, the oaks are all freed up. It basically allows for all these more desirable trees to flourish down in here you kind of look through here and you don't see just all these trees on the ground. There's some trees that are hinge cut and a hinge cut is basically cutting halfway through that tree, hinging it over, allowing for deer to bed on it, um, giving it structure. The leaves will still grow, the deer will browse on the leaves. Another one is double girdling trees. So um, on some of these hickories in here and next to some of the ones down in the bottoms, next to some of our more desirable trees, you, you double girdle. So what double girdle means is basically making a ring around, around the tree two times, about four or five inches apart, and just making sure that you're about a half inch to an inch in all, all the way around the tree. So, that, so it kills the tree, allows the tree to stand up, doesn't go crashing down just yet, you know, allowing that sunlight to the floor is basically what that's doing. So, um, the third one is felling, and that's just basically cutting a, cutting a tree off, you know, at the at ground level. So as you look through here, it's just not bashed over with the dozer. It's 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 kind of broken up. There's some hinges. There's some some trees that are felled. We tried to feather this edge a little bit up here by this field um, by laying some of these trees into the into this grassy area. Basically, all allowing for more regen of our more desirable trees in the bottom. So. You know, going, going forward, that's, that's kind of the main goal of this little area is to clear this out, allow for more browse to, to come up for these deer and all the other critters, let our more desirable trees flourish and regen in this area. All right, guys, so basically moving from the clear cut over there on that part of the farm, we've moved into what we're gonna call an area that we did crop tree release. So back here, it's basically full of walnuts and white oaks. So as you can see, there's hardly any other species of tree growing in here. We, we came through here, we whacked everything, we opened up all these big walnuts. So with this crop tree release, it allows these trees to flourish, to take up all the sunlight, take up all the nutrients around here. There's no other trees crowding them out, leaning into them. You know, they're gonna reach their maturity way quicker um, as far as, you know, a timber lumber uh, side of things go. So crop tree release is basically, it's pretty simple. It's as simple as it sounds. It's, it's releasing the crop tree. So. We, we want these trees to flourish. We want them to regenerate in here. So by cutting out, you know, kind of like we did over there in the, in the clear cut, we cut out all the hickories in here, um, basically just to allow walnut regeneration in here. So you can see the sun has gotten to the floor, all this browse coming up. So another main thing to keep in mind when you're doing any type of TSI 
is to keep it open for the deer. You don't want just a mess of trees here and there. You can go through and make some bedding cuts, little small little half acre pockets, little brush piles, stuff like that. But we don't want just trees laying over top of trees so this deer can't get through there. So that, that's one major tip when you're doing TSI is to keep your trails open. I mean, if, if you fall some trees, you're gonna have to go through and cut some trails, you know, um, just allow those deer to use it. So some of the main benefits of doing TSI one that sticks out to a lot of guys is your your timber harvest ability so basically allowing these trees to reach maturity faster opening them up picking out what trees are the best ones to open up is is part of that so um, not only are we opening it up for the deer i mean it's it's for all kinds of wildlife we're making instant cover out of nothing we're making we're basically turning useless acres into awesome usable acres by all forms of wildlife so there's native plants coming up in here. There's flowers I can see, tons of browse in here. Basically what we're doing here is forcing regeneration of the trees that we want to keep. So in this case, black walnuts, white oaks in the bottom, some red oaks down in there. Hickories we're trying to get rid of basically on this farm was our main goal. So by just picking up that chainsaw, putting in some sweat equity along with some safety precautions, you can make a world of difference in your woods.